Oh, all right, great. I hadn't said a word, so I thought, oh, God. Oh, it's just been quiet in the background. Oh, nice. So how's it going, boys? Well, that's the so first thing that's worked first time, anyway. Mm-hmm. Have you got your new computer going there? I've had a bitch of a week with everything. Oh, what's that? What do you say? Well, I changed computers, which I thought would be... Wouldn't be too bad, but oh my god! <laughs> I thought I had a hard drive with Kipper's advice to back everything up. So when I started to do the swap over, I had both computers set up. <laughs> um, had the hard drive right now. Download everything onto that. I my. The old computer couldn't see the hard drive, no matter what I did. And then I thought, you "Should have give me a ring, man." No, I, I, I didn't want to bother you. You, you were <laughs> enough problems with your back. So in the end, I flipping gave up with the hard drive, bought a new hard drive, and you know, like when you buy something on a website, and it says people that buy this also buy this. Oh, so no, I, you didn't follow that, did you? So, it was it was a lead, right? You're a very gullible biscuit. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a lead, so I'll yeah go on. Fair enough. I'll have the lead as well. So I it showed that it was available in Mover in Swansea. So but so I pay for it and over I go. <coughs> Sunday, which I think I probably said, go over there to pick it up. And it's not there. Well, in the end, it came in on Tuesday. So I went to pick it up on Tuesday. Brought it home. Opened the box that the lead was in. Go to plug the lead in. The lead doesn't fit the hard drive. Right? It's, not in, it's not intended for the hard drive. But believe it or not, there is a lead in the box with the hard drive. Yeah, yeah. of course there is. So oh, well, at the end of the day, this is 13 quid. <laughs> I'll take it back. So I go to the back, go back to Curry's. I said, this this lead is no good to me. I said, well, what's the point in recommending a lead? Oh, it's not recommending the lead. It's just telling you that somebody else that bought that hard drive, they <laughs> bought that lead. Yeah, but you automatically assume that if the lead goes with the hard drive, that it's suitable. It's compatible with it. Mm. Oh, no, no, you can't take that for granted. Right, anyway, I get the 13 quid back from that. Tidy. So when you switch the new computer on and you go through all this, the stages of, you know, what language it is, what country you're in, yeah. what network <laughs> to, and you eventually come to Migration Assistant, right? Do you, so do you want to migrate everything from an old computer to a new computer? So I thought, oh, this is what I want now. So yes, I on, yes to migrate it all over. So yes, it, it migrates everything. Now every document, every photo, everything. All the folder structure is duplicated on the new computer. Fantastic, right? So then I, I followed, carry on with the setup of the new computer. Hiya, Sam. Hi, and I'm waiting for the and, but. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming, don't worry. So I'm finished now setting up the new computer. So I thought, right, as a safeguard now, I'll, I'll do another download now onto the hard drive. The, the new hard drive, being that I bought it, I may as well use it. So I do a backup onto the hard drive. So I check now, right, I got everything. I got all my photos, all my files in the hard drive. I've also got it in my new computer. Everything's hunky-dory, isn't it? So what do I do? I then go to the old computer and delete everything. Oh, no! <laughs> Why? I delete it off the old computer. It also deletes it off the new computer. Oh, you fucking idiot! Why did he just? Uh, did he still connect it? 
But I, but I didn't know it was still connected. <laughs> oh, what about the hard drive? But luckily, because I was a good boy and I listened to Kepler's <laughs> advice, but luckily everything was on the hard drive. Bloody yeah. hell. You're you very lucky. Yeah. So, so why did you why did you delete the stuff as far as you were thinking? Why did you delete the stuff off the old one rather than just switch it off? Because my granddaughter wants the the old one. All oh, right. Right. And and the other thing is as well, we know when I don't know how many years ago they start they started using WhatsApp. So I'm in umpteen different groups with WhatsApp. And of course, when people send you photographs and videos on WhatsApp, unless you tell your phone that you don't want it saved to your photos, everything goes into your photos. Right? Yeah, that's right. I've noticed that. So all this stuff and some of it, isn't all savoury. Some of it's stuff that you don't particularly want your granddaughter looking at. Yeah. So I thought, shit, i got to delete all that stuff because otherwise she'll... Yeah, see it'll be there. That her grandfather's <laughs> a dirty old bastard. And you thought you better give her a, just a straight, plain, empty computer please, to do please, with isn't it. Please, isn't it? So, but did you check on your new computer to see if it was all there? Well, yeah, probably all the old the stuff that I wouldn't want my granddaughter to see is probably now on my new computer. But I'm I'm going on the principle. My last computer lasted me ten years, and by the time the computer I got now, if that lasts me ten years. By the time somebody else looks at it, I'll be a pile of dust sprinkled somewhere. I hope we live longer than another 10 years. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can't go yet, man. I'm hoping to. <laughs> I, I well, uh, can't that get... Um... That wasn't, and that wasn't the end of it, right? So I've had a flipping <laughs> bit of a grueling on the tech side. I'm down the marina on Friday... And we call into, I don't know if you ever go into Fresco, the cafe on the marina. No. We go That's in there quite often. Well, I had um, something to eat and uh, coffee, you know, so, right, everything's great. And I, I pay with my phone, right? So it was like £18. So I pay with my phone now. Great. Everything's great. Bought loads of things, paid for more stuff. You know, since sort of COVID, I've used very little cash. It's all card or with my phone, which is obviously linked to my card. So I pay for everything. Go outside to sit down. Just looked at my phone. To, to do the normal thing. Switch my phone on. My phone won't switch on. Right, my phone is locked, so nothing I could do with it. So I come home, do as everybody else does. How do you unlock an iPhone? Go on YouTube, they tell you how to do it. So I tried what they said, what they recommended. No, it wouldn't work. Go on, look at another YouTube, another bloke tells you exactly the same yeah. procedure how to unlock it. Couldn't unlock it. So it Saturday morning. I go on to Apple support to this bloke on Apple support on a you know on a chat thing. And um he talked me through now doing exactly the same thing as I'd done on YouTube. I said I, I I'll I'll do it, I said, but I've done this about twenty times already. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh well well try it, right, okay. But wouldn't work, right? He said, "Plug, plug your charger into your phone and and try it again. Plug the charger into the phone, tried it again, wouldn't work." So he he had me doing it a few times, and in the end, he said, "I don't know what it is." 
all on this chat thing. So, so then he said to me, uh, you have to take it to your nearest apple shop. Where's your nearest apple shop? Cardiff. Cardiff. No, <laughs> Carmarthen, nearest. Pardon? Is running Carmarthen. Shopping no, it's centre. gone now, isn't it? Is it? No, bugger. Yeah. So, it's either Cardiff or Bristol. So I said, well, will they repair it there and then? Well, they'll try, but they'll they'll try, you know, basically what I've been trying to do. So he oh. said, they'll probably take it off you and then they'll you'll have to go and collect it, you know, in a week's time or whatever. So I thought, well, I can't be without the phone. So I've ended, I ended up having to buy a new bloody phone yesterday. <laughs> That came this morning, and that hadn't been a flipping a walk in the park, to be honest. <laughs> you had a new one, or did you buy a second hand one? Pardon? Did you buy a refurbished one or a new one? No, I bought a new one. How much did that knock you back? 750. Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh. Didn't the, was, your Apple account wasn't blocked then? No, it wasn't the Apple. No, the 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 phone is knackered. My old. Oh phone, right, okay. That they had up until I bought that grub. It, it just gave up the ghost then. Yeah. All right. Well, it's well, so that's just a coincidence that it's come on top of your laptop problem, is it? Yeah, come on top of my computer problem. So it's been an expensive week. Bloody hell. What, what phone was it? Which iPhone was it? iPhone 11. Well, that, should, that shouldn't have packed in, should it? No. no. But then I, 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 still got, no, I still got an iPhone 11 up in, the, up in the box there, which I never got to work again. It, it, it opens up and everything, but because I had a problem with my Apple saying I got blocked out of it, and then I got back in, and then, it, oh, God, it was such a hassle. In the end, I bought a, Gala, I bought a fucking Samsung. Yeah. Went back to Android. Well, the, the strange thing is that I come home, I look on Facebook. The first post I see on Facebook is a bloke I know puts a post on there to say, uh, my phone isn't working, it's locked up. Um, if you need to get in touch with me, send me a message on Facebook. He so, said... I thought well, you... That's a bit strange, you know. Two people having the same problem on the same day. So I don't know what phone he's got. It's a conspiracy biscuit. Yes, I think it is. <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised. Well, he put a they... post up to say he was having a problem and he asked people to send him a message. You mean what? To send him a, an idea of how to fix it, was it? No, 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 no. If, if you needed to get in touch with them, the only way that he could respond to it was on Facebook. Oh, I see. Facebook, you know. right, I get it. So, um... Well, a weird thing happened with, with, with mine just this last week. When I get um, messages come in via WhatsApp, I could say, uh, like, you know, various number of groups, and I have a conversation back and forth, and you've got a record of your conversation on your WhatsApp thing. And then yesterday... I went back to this one particular conversation I was having with somebody and I thought, where's that conversation gone? Sc scrolled up, scrolled down and uh, it's disappeared. So uh, what happens then when, can somebody at the other end take that chat off or something? Maybe. Maybe. I know if you, you can send something and then I could send you a picture, and then you could say delete. You you want to delete it, and it gives you an option to delete it just for yourself or delete it for everybody. Say if you were in a group. This is just a kind of a one to one from somebody. Right. And we were having a conversation back and forth, and yeah. then when I went to refer to it yesterday. I thought, where's that gone? It wasn't showing anywhere. I've got to dive out to get my plug. I can see my um, my powers about to drop out. So carry on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. The mysteries of Apple. It's been an expensive week. Bloody hell, biscuit, yeah. Have you got that hard drive backing up now as a time machine? No, I, I, I've unplugged it now. 
You want to plug it in and get it working as a time machine biscuit. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> but don't press delete. Well, the thing is, it's flipping crazy. I thought my daughter rang now, or my granddaughter <coughs> rang. Can I come up and have the computer tonight? So I said, yeah, okay. So I thought, right, I'll go into it now. And I'll flip in. First thing I thought I'll do is I'll take the, the I'll disconnect it from my network. Otherwise, she'll be, you know, whatever. <laughs> can watch do what are you doing on your computer? Be cocking everything else up like that. So I thought, right, well, rather than have, so I took it off, took it, shut Wi-Fi off, disconnect it from my my hub. So I thought, right, I'll take my name off it now, and I'll put her name on it. And um, I used to use my name to log into my computer, and I thought I'll change the password now to her name now, so it'll be more personalized for her and then so i thought oh there we are that was that wasn't too difficult i pick up my phone <laughs> and my phone comes up then with her bloody name on it i <laughs> 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 connect it with you it's brilliant it's it? amazing how that it, it links stuff together <laughs> yeah, isn't it, without you even knowing <laughs> It's just flipping like that. You have the biscuit though, couldn't it? You know, just when you think you got it sorted, you open your phone and it's all gone wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant. It's taken yeah. on. I, I did a similar thing last night. Was it not, no, the night before last? Watching a recorded program about scammers and how they scam people with money and everything else. And there's a website you can go to to see if any of your um, email addresses have been um, scammed. So I go oh. on it. One of my email addresses been scams. Oh, I better change my uh, my password. So I changed it, and of course the next day, then I went to log in. <laughs> Didn't remember the password, could I? Uh, All my emails, uh, I couldn't get onto my my emails. I thought, what am I going to do now? So I, I rang up. I'm with a company called Ionus, and uh, of course he speaks to somebody in a foreign country somewhere, but. To be fair, he talked me through it and eventually got my password back. But that was, I thought, I'm, I'm stuffed now. I really am stuffed without my yeah. password. Yeah. Yeah. It. It's not the same process, is it? And is an iPhone cap. This is my lap. No, my, my laptop. On my iPhone is on everything. My internet, right. um, web mail, and you know, yeah. emails. Some of these, um, when they ask you to, uh, you you put in a password. And I know you're not supposed to, but I tend to sort of stick to the same one and I can remember it. And some of them will say, ah, you have to use up to eight letters, capitals and lowercase, (laughs) and something else. So I thought, okay, yeah, my password contains them all. And then you go to one site that's asking for it and it says, oh, no, you can't use that one. Ah, so you can't use one of those little sort of forward slashes or stars or whatever. Yeah. think oh so you're telling me now you're asking me to give you my password i'm giving you it and you're saying no i want to oh it's not strong enough and that's for me to decide surely so i end up then uh substituting one of the symbols they won't have for something else like an extra number okay fine but then you have to remember the different things you've signed into where oh (laughs) <laughs> it's, imp- it's impossible oh, to remember then, more. what deviation of my normal password did i use mm-hmm. and then saying either wrong um the, the, the email address or wrong password mm. and if you've forgotten your password click here we'll send you a link it doesn't always you know Oh, yo, you can't do it. It's already it's in use by me. Who needs an ology? <laughs> Maureen Lippmann. Well, I was um, trying to get this sorted, and I said, well, will we send you an email? With a... I said, how am I going to read the email? I yeah. can't yeah. email up because I've got a password. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's a difficult mm. one. Yeah. I get that frustration I mean, when I'm doing things on my, my phone. Account, yeah. and, and until lately... 
until, until lately i've not been able to actually if i'm doing something on my phone and they say i oh, will send you a text i say hold on a minute now that means i gotta come out of this conversation go and have a look at the text you send to me to then enter the thing that you sent and for quite a while i wasn't able to do that oh hold on i'm actually using my phone right now if you're on the phone to somebody and they say right i'll send you a text message and you say no i'm uh, i'm on the phone to you right now so i can't go to my text messages while i'm on the phone to you i know you can but i wasn't that savvy at the time mm-hmm. to come out of that problem because sometimes when you go back in you've lost that moment and then they send you another one mm-hmm. and you go around your circles uh, I spent a week on, on stuff like that yeah. on my iPhone when I just forgot the password and I was blocked yeah. out of my um, Apple account totally and I couldn't get it back because they wanted to send me an email and I couldn't get my email open because I had my because my Apple account was blocked yeah. <laughs> so, it's just, yeah. it's going, so in the end in the end I bought the Galaxy went on to Android got them to send me that then and then I, I had to change then the sim card over and then do it all and then yeah. do it you know but then you get the problem of being timed out didn't you yeah set in this well, phone up no today when yeah. you set it up and you say well, right, i'm getting what your apple id is right they every they're obviously ex, half expecting that you're a scammer right so they say right we'll send a code to your old phone right so i thought well, if you send a code to my old phone i can't access it because the bloody thing is locked up hmm. well <laughs> eventually how it happened i don't know luckily i was sitting in front of my computer screen the code that they were sending came up on my computer screen with a six yeah, digit number both, on okay. it. yeah so, but they were sending it to my phone, which I couldn't access. But so, do you not know use the um, save your password on your Max? No, I don't use that facility. I, I make up my own password. Well, no, I, what they were saying on this program is you should never do it because yeah. you tend to be using the same characters mixed up on all your on all your passwords. Yeah, you can once they once they've got an idea what the words are, they can just generate passwords. That match yeah. technology and they get into your account. Yeah, no, I, I I know you can set it up automatically, but I, I, I got a book. I got a book by here with with the very um, thing they tell you not to do to write them all down, I know. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, it's an alphabetical book, so everything so like you know, Amazon, eBay whatever mm-hmm. website it is that you've got to create an account on is in that book you know how else can you do it well the thing is it, it's okay but quite often if i go away out somewhere else and i'm yeah. using another computer to log on to something I, I can't do it you know there's no way yeah, yeah. well what, what i've got is in my phone you've got reminders yeah so for the certain websites that I may need to access if I'm out, I've got the password in there. So obviously it's the same email for every website, but I've just got the password in my phone because mm. I, it'll be like one of I probably got about six different passwords. Yeah, I got about well, I can't. I got so many now. I can't. I can't possibly write them down anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's over two hundred. So you say, Rob, if you if you go away and you and then you go to log in somewhere on a on a somebody else's kind of um computer, what you you, you say you can't log in because you, you can't remember which one or you can't don't remember all you can never remember all the different passwords. It's impossible. If I got my phone with me, you know, yeah. I'm okay. I can use my phone because it'll copy all the the uh, passwords. But if you if you go into a, a business meeting somewhere and you say, Well log on, you can use a the computer there to get your emails and stuff. Well, you know. Yeah. Mm. It's just too difficult. Oh. 
you know, I've got must be over two hundred different websites I've been to. We have to make a password. If you use the same password and someone once they find it, that's they just wipe everything off, everything you've ever done. Yeah, yeah. So it's and a catch twenty two, isn't it? And the and and the other thing is, well, no. I mean, it's incredible that that at nine o'clock he was knocking the door this morning to deliver it. I didn't mm. buy it till about. I don't know, four o'clock last night, yesterday afternoon. So tremendous with regards to the delivery. I know. You open the box and the phone is there you now, nice and nice, bright new phone. And um, and then you lift it up and there's normally a charging lead and a plug. The first thing I note is, oh, it's a different charging lead. Different yep. type of plug fits into the phone now. It's gone from the... Many think of a USB C plug, right? Yeah. But there's no there's no charging plug in it. So unless you've got something that'll accept the USB C plug, you can't charge the phone. Fortunately, they, they, they assume you've got all sorts of stuff, don't they? You know, yeah. it should be the case. They should send you everything yeah. you need from scratch. Well, you, should, you should have a mains charging plug, but yeah. they don't give you one anymore. No. Yeah, you go buy another uh, plug with a USB and a, and a USB three adapter on the well, end. Luckily of it. enough, on the on the back of the Mac Mini, there's a <coughs> USB um, socket that I can plug yeah. into. That takes so long um, to charge up, though. When you charge I'm from the computer, I <laughs> spent a few quid now on different chargers because this phone you can you know you can lay it on. It, it'll charge through the back. You won't want to plug it in. You can just yeah, lay can it on it. top of this thing, and that will charge yeah. it. Yeah, it's it's a bit um, when you get. Uh, I forgot my uh, my drift then on the on the charging. I was thinking of a of a point. I forget what it was now. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was saying sometimes when you get a little plug thing, you think, oh, this will do it, and 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 the plugs fit. But sometimes the charger unit isn't compatible and it yeah. seems to be charging whatever it is you're trying to charge yeah. but really slowly like I, if i've got my my computer set up and my phone is low i'll think okay i got a usb coming out the side of my computer and i char and i put the other one into the bottom of my phone and you think there we are it, it's it's drawing power through my laptop into my phone yeah. but the charge rate is really really slow oh it's yeah. so slow yeah. what you need yeah. is a hub okay a split hub what i've got is uh, i got two of them with five usb threes and four charging ports yeah usb charging ports which just charges it like a normal charger yeah, what, yeah. what's yeah. there what's there when you say usb three what is that is that the kind uh, of well, it's no. USB, USB. It's blue. It's if you look in the thing, it's a blue one. The the, the contact bit is blue. The USB two is the white one, and the USB three is it's fast. It's a faster one, faster version of USB. Hmm. All right. Uh, I can't I can't get one out now because they're all under the wires, but uh, hmm. they they're perfect, you know, for that. I got a a Sabant, which connected, which yeah. Which actually plugs in on uh, Ethernet. So you're using the USB thing and you like using internet, uh, Ethernet speeds. Mm. Yeah, all those plugs are different. The power ones you plug in the wall. But some of them are the cheap ones, don't charge as quickly as the proper ones. No. Yeah. There's a lot and of you, and you, bullshit out there. Yeah, and reluctant to buy a cheap one because. They cause fires, don't they? Yeah, they have been. Oh, yeah, talking about having a new phone delivered on that scam program last night. This woman was on. She said, uh, "Oh, knock on the door," and the bloke said, "Oh, I've just delivered you brand new iPhone." So she takes it in, opens it up, brand new iPhone. And about ten minutes later, the bloke says, "Oh, he said, uh, I'm from the delivery company. Come to collect the iPhone. It was sent to you mistakenly." So she thought, oh, fair enough, handed it over. And apparently there's a scam up now. If they've got your name and address, someone can scam the supply, like iPhone company, 
send the phone to <laughs> that address. Then they've got a courier who comes on and takes it off them. But the yeah. person whose house it is is paid for the phone, mm. and they don't know it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah I've seen, I've seen that. scammers out there. Yeah. Frightening. Yeah. Where's Primo, then? I don't know. No news from him at all. Well, he was out last night. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I just happened to come up. He posted a thing on the Langland site, but it was about Margaret Thrush. Yeah. So I think it was last night in the White Rose there, a bit of a oh, night. He's out there. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. But, and there was one guy up on there, and I thought, oh, it's a familiar name. Sounded like he had a band. And I thought, and it was a guy, and I it came up, a really famous kind of rugby player from way back, and also a coach, yeah. Mike Reddick. Mike Reddick, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the band. Good, good name for the band. It was called Take This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As opposed to that. Talking of um, getting connected and, and then not, um, you know when you get um, somebody requests a friend Facebook? So I always, I look at it and I think, oh. And then you look at common friends. Who are they friends with? Oh, yeah, I know them. I know them. I know them. Okay. If their name doesn't ring a bell you personally yourself, I think, okay. Um, so who is this person? So what, you click on their profile. All oh, right, five thousand friends. Mm. Mm. And that's what I think. Oh, somebody's, <laughs> just going, somebody's just going for numbers. They just want to have scammers out there. Five thousand friends. Mm. But the name was was it's it's, it's a it's a familiar kind of mumble Swansea name. Mm. I thought all right. So what I've done before, I send a little private message to them, and it's usually. Oh, hello, um, nudge my old grey cells. Where have I forgotten you from? You know, where, where did I, mm. where have I come across you before? Try mm. not to be sort of, who the hell are you? Uh, and try and be a bit polite. And then they'll either come back and say, oh, I used to go to when you discord in there, or you know my mate, or whatever. Or actually, they'll come up and say, oh, um, I looked at your profile. You look like an interesting sort of person. I just thought I'd um, be friends with you. Yeah. And that is kind of not what the friends thing is about to me. So anyway, yeah. I sent that polite message off and I get an automated reply. Or oh, this, this, um, you cannot send messages to this person. And I thought, oh, is that because if she's got 5,000 friends, it's, her thing is full. Her yeah. incoming thing is full. Or she wants to send out requests for friends, but actually doesn't want to have any communication coming back. Yeah. So short of actually just deleting the request. And I always think, oh, if somebody's been in touch with you, maybe you've forgotten them from somewhere and they're quite kosher. Yeah. But I thought, does somebody have a limit of how many friends they can have? And then you can't send them a message anymore. Uh, I think I maybe know. Facebook just monitor the number of people and they, yeah. they know whether or not they're, they're a real person yeah. or it's somebody scamming. Yeah, oh, no, you can usually tell a scam and you think, Oh, that's stupid. You go to the profile and it's a, some glam lady mm. with a strange oh. name living somewhere in America. Yeah. Who sends you a little note sort of saying, oh, you know, I just saw your thing and it looks interesting. I just thought it'd be quite nice to be friends you, with you. You yeah. look like an interesting type of person. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and they, and they, mm. and, and then, and they send you, and it's usually the ladies with the full on pout. Yeah. Not a lot on. And a lot of people think that appeals to people. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, Sam. Have a look. Next time you get one, all right? Have a look at her friends. And then you'll yeah. see one of your friends in her friends. Yeah. So but that's how you so get your, somebody. your name. Yeah. Yeah, because somebody, yeah, because somebody else has just gone or click. Yeah. Mm. And then somebody else has clicked it without actually bothering to sort of mm. question it and then as you say but yeah. usually the giveaway is you go to their profile and there's no details <coughs> to show no yeah no i just, I just remove them now i do yeah yeah i don't know them. Yeah. i don't bother if, it, if i don't know them instantly I, I, I just leave it alone that's it mm. yeah you know gotta know them no point yeah. otherwise I mean, even even some people that I do know, 
and they ask, and I still remove them because I think, oh, yeah, oh, shit. no, I don't. Stephen, what's the point of having them? I'm never going to speak to them. No, I remember no. them, but that's about it. Yeah, some people <laughs> yeah. who knew were a pain in the neck when you had to, yeah. you had to deal with them. <laughs> now I don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it just brings in another flood of stuff that you don't want. Yeah. That? But it, the, the problem is, Biscuit, is not a lot of people think like us, you know. Some some people just think it's fantastic to have 8 million friends or something like that, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, got, I don't know how many I've got, but uh, I would say nine-tenths of them, I know who they are. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've got over a thousand, you know. And I, you know, all, uh, all the ones on mine are people who, are, who I've actually spoken to and I know personally. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Uh, I've got some that aren't, and I don't know how they got on there, but they are. Mm. It's like that post that comes up every now and then that you think it comes from this person, but then because of the style of writing, you know they haven't actually written it, but they've, they've, they forwarded it on because they thought, oh, yeah, yeah. this seems to be a bit. And it's sometimes about reclaiming your friends that you haven't seen for ages. Yeah. So put your, put your cursor anywhere on this text, press it, copy it, do yeah. this. And then people say, hey, I, I didn't work. And other people say, oh, it's a scam. It's just been around for ages. What's the point? Yeah. And, yeah. and you always feel like saying to the person that sent it to you, why have you sent this thing on? It's been around for ages now, and apparently it doesn't refresh your friends on Facebook because well, you tend to get. You what? Know, of course it doesn't. <laughs> no, of course no. it doesn't. Yeah. yeah you've friends. seen those scam. Um, you've seen those little like competitions coming up on all, all the time. All these like silly little quizzes. Oh yeah. And they're just scam. They're scam trying to fishing for for people to mm. click on the buttons. Yeah. You do this little sort of can you speak the odd man out and all this other stupid thing. Yeah. And then you click on it and it's yeah, 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 you know, carry on. The next thing you know, it's